Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep, dark wood. Why not? Why not? Oh, <clears throat> because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. <clears throat> What does he look like? Tell us that. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Um, I can't quite remember. The Gruffalo said. <laughs> then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. <laughs> The big bad mouse is terribly strong. Terribly strong. And his scaly tail is terribly long. Terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. Terrible fire. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. Santa's been. <laughs> stick man lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and their stick children three. <gasps> One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. <laughs>
<laughs> and these are the villagers shouting. <laughs> as the whale and the snail travel safely away. to the dock and the flock on the rock. <laughs> Who said? How oh, time's flown. And haven't you grown? Then the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale. Of shimmering ice and coral caves, and shooting stars and enormous waves. <laughs> and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. Help! He said. Goodbye, little mouse! <laughs> and off he ran to his underground house. Hello, said the mouse. You see, everyone is afraid of me. But now. My tummy's beginning to rumble. My favourite food is... the wind, he turned and fled.
was quiet in the deep, dark wood, the mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. As for the rat in the echoey cave, he shouted and wandered till he found his way out of the darkness on the other side of the hill. A thinner and greyer and meeker rat. He robs on the road no more. For he landed a job in a cake shop. A cake shop? A cake shop. And they say he still works in the cake shop. Step forward, crying. Stop! <sighs> you silly chumps. The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing round the palace in a silly, frilly dress. Oh. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Huh? <laughs> Me too! exclaimed the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice 
Wisty stethoscope instead. <laughs> Perhaps, Princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied... Mm, uh, of course. Hmm. But I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Flying doctors. <laughs> oh, oh, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Hmm. Bravo! <laughs> A dragon ambulance. An excellent career. <laughs> and all the Year 5 dragons gave a loud, resounding cheer. Yeah! And she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something. Everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in. And the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zackity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes! cried the witch, and they all clambered on. Broomstick. And whoosh. They were gone. <laughs> 